Bueno, ya hablé con ustedes atrás, todos los instrucciones. I already gave you, all, you guys all your instructions in the back room already. Esa es la línea aquí, golpes abajo de aquí son golpes malos. Y también, anything on the trunks is going to be considered a low blow on both you boxers here. Okay. Dad Laguente, touch hands. I want a good clean bout. Yo quiero una pelea limpia, no juego sucio. I want a good clean bout. Give the people what they came for. Touch them up, may the best man win. Put a good night in the course. Adrian, the problem groaner. One of the best nicknames in sports. One of the outsized personalities in boxing. Only 22 years old. Now he has to deliver in front of this hometown crowd. Ready? And he could become the second youngest belt holder behind Canelo Alvarez, who you'll see later tonight live from Mexico City against Kermit Cintron. And if you're wondering about Rodriguez, he's been known as Vincente Rodriguez, but he's going by Martin Rodriguez. He said Martin is actually his first name. When he was a kid, there was a fire in his house in Argentina, and a lot of the paperwork and certificates got messed up, and when they got reinstated, Martin was moved to his middle name. And Vincente, his middle name was made his first name, but he said it's really Martin Rodriguez. He's definitely got a problem in front of him right now. Rodriguez told us this morning, look, Broner's fast, he's intelligent. I've seen two of his fights, but he doesn't take a hard shot well. I've got to break him down physically and pressure him. He gets tagged leaning in. Broner looks very sharp so far. Always, he's a constant professional. He always comes in the ring ready and in shape, and he's usually a very sharp technician inside those ropes. Down her left hand, right to the chin of Rodriguez, who's never been stopped, and he's hurt. He's hurt bad. He ain't never seen nothing like this before. You can believe that, Bob. Oh, very slow lunging left that, you know, Broner will stick in his memory bank. Count that the next time he tries that. Very slow hand speed from Rodriguez. Good job by Rodriguez. First punch he's landed. Broner not only delivering hard, accurate shots, but playing defense very well. Roy picking off most, almost every shot except for that one. And that's what you want to see in a young fight. You not only want to see him be offensive minded, but you got to check his defense. Oh, good right hand by Rodriguez. It was. Rodriguez timing him a little over the second half of this round. But Rodriguez also is not known as a knockout puncher, but he seems to be throwing some pretty good shots tonight. Go. He's got 18 knockouts and 37 professional fights. Oh, <laughs> Well, it seems like Rodriguez does a lot of like sort of off balance leaning in like that. What can Broner do to capitalize? Just what he just did. Throw that right up cut right down the middle of those hands. That's the best thing to do. Anytime you got a guy to keep his hands close to his head like that, you try to come between his hands or between his gloves with an upcut. Anything down the middle will work for him. Well, that left hook from Rodriguez is slow moving. Compared to Broner, everything Rodriguez does is slow moving. I think like just normal stickiness. <laughs> Roy, it's slow. Because he's leaning with his punches and stepping in so much, it's causing him to get countered and it's starting to become discouraging, discouraging to him. Good hooks. And of round number one, very authoritative round for Adrian Broner. Tell him to get the... Hey, listen up. Yeah, look, look here. Okay, you, you, you're reaching a little bit too much. Take your time. Bring it under and over. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Under and over. You know what I'm saying? Under and over. Give him a lot of feints, okay? You understand? Okay, give him a lot of feints and make him make, keep him off balance, okay? But you got. Come on. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. throws that hand, just like we talked about all the time. Do you hear me? How are you doing? Good. You sure? Good. 
Right here you see Brolin step back off of right hand to the body and counter with a beautiful check hook to the head. That shot really hurt Rodriguez. Had him on clear speed for a few moments in the fight. Broner landed 11 of 28 power shots in the round, including that hook. I should note, too, Broner's a fast guy with speed and everything. This ring is almost conducive to Rodriguez. Comedy Box's own Joe Carnicelli took out the tape measure before the fight started. It's only 16 feet by 8 inches inside the ropes, Max. I was surprised by that, given that Broner has good lateral movement and he's the hometown guy and the emerging star, that the ring wasn't bigger, favoring his style. Well, he's not really a mover, though, uh, Max. He's the type of guy that is very offensive minded. Oh, he can stay in the pocket, yeah, but... He's, he's but not trying to run from too much, so it doesn't do you no good to have a small ring unless you're the type of guy that's going to use your legs and bounce around. But he's it, not that type of fighter. Put it this way. What shot does Rodriguez have? Only in close. That's true, but, but, but like I said, for brother, it doesn't bother him because he doesn't do too much excessive moving either. He's not a bounce around fighter, he's a walk around fighter. No, but I think he has good legs, bro. Yeah, very good legs, but he don't use them like that. By the way, Roy, you mentioned check hook. You want to explain to people the difference between a, a hook and a check hook? Yeah, that check hook is a shot that uses throw off of another guy's right hand. If you're both orthodox fighters, when he throws right hand, you fade back just a little to pull him in and you check that hook just to see if he's there, see if he's coming too close. See that he overstepped that boundary. Usually a shorter hook than a, than a full left hook, right? Yes, yeah, usually a little shorter. But you call it check hook because you check to see if he crossed that line. You know, the one thing, guys, here in round number two with Rodriguez, he's sort of imposing his will a little bit here on Brown. Like Max said, that's his only, only chance. We see these tough Argentine fighters that people haven't heard of until they show up on American TV. Lucas Matisse, Marcos Maidana. Rodriguez hopes to join that. That line. If he could punch like Maidana, he'd definitely be in good hands here. <laughs> there you see just his determination and timing starting to hit Broner. You know, according to the copy box numbers, at least in this round, two minutes in, Rodriguez has thrown 56 punches to Broner's 28. So he's at least been busy. He's throwing some pretty good punches at Broner. See, and with the smaller ring, Broner takes one step, and his back is already on the rope. Okay, break. Let's get him. Step back. I'm already thinking of, you know, Max, you burned it into my memory. Like, when you're scoring rounds, who would you rather be at the end of the round? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather be Rodriguez at the end of this round. He's definitely been busier, and he has been landing some. Pressure on Broner. That's the only chance. Good stiff jab from Broner, and again. And that's how round number two will come to an end. Muy bien, Martin. Very good, Martin. Very good, Martin. Relax. Put some Vaseline on. You got nothing there. How are you doing? Good. Here. Good defense. Nice and organized. Just like we talked. Throw. Throw low. Two shots, baby. Come on. Okay? You're throwing one shot. Put them together, man. Okay? And put the bottom. Put the body, okay? All right? Let's go. Come on, man. Work. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. It's, it, it, it's easy. It look too easy, but you got to make it work, okay? I hope the jab you work the combination. Okay, go to the body. Let's go. go. Pick it up now. So very enthusiastic corner of Rosero. Martin Rodriguez at the end of round number two. They both landed 14 punches in the last round according to the copy box. But Rodriguez threw 25 more. But and 10 of his connects were power shots. Broner, seven of his 14 were jabs. Although round. those jabs at the end of the round were like power shots. They sure were. They were some pounding jabs. Power jab. Power shot just basically means any punch that's not a jab, but sometimes a hook or a cross that doesn't land with authority isn't as much of a power shot as a power jab. No, because it's straight down the pipe. And the corner of Broner, good advice in between two and three. So you got to put your punches together. You're only throwing one at a time, and he's trying to do that here to start round three. 
Martini's nose is starting to bleed a little from that right uppercut, I think. That runner went straight back and took a hook. All these punches are missing. Body shot lands. Nothing to the head. And this is what Rodriguez wanted to make this. Rough. Okay, break, break, break. Well, good body work oh, by Rodriguez, this. and Frank Garza broke them. It is, and though Rodriguez is making it his kind of fight over the last round and a half. As you mentioned, Bob, he landed some body shots there, but the crowd... Rodriguez! Now can Broner finish him? A little wild right now. Chops a right hand. Good left hand to the body. Takes a right to the body. Left hand. shied away from the fight and knocked his man out. Never, ever shied away. No, Rodriguez was pressing the action, and then Broner turned the tide with that uppercut. Roy, you talked about Rodriguez constantly leaning forward off balance, and Broner made him pay. Yeah, the uppercut was going to to catch him because he kept leaning forward so much with his jab foot. Anytime a guy leans forward with that jab foot, with that front foot, and has the hands on the side of his face, it's so much easier to just come up the middle with the uppercut. Stoppage number 18, win number 22 for 22-year-old Adrian Broner. And he has a share of the Junior Lightweight Championship, making him the second youngest title holder in the world behind Canelo Alvarez, will be in our main event. All right, Roy, let's take a look at how it ended. Yeah, right, you see Broner take his time, bam, right on the cup, right on the chair. That kind of ended matters. Then he came in and started to try to finish. But what's very important here is that he's throwing head shots and missing right there. He came back right here shortly and threw a beautiful body shot. That's what ended the thing for him. And now that goes to hook the end. That's a great finisher. That, that is the size of an excellent finisher. Anytime you find a guy that has this enough to go to that body right there and break the guy down while you have him hurt, that's how you finish a final off. Because Roy, he had, when he first had him hurt, he had gotten a little wild and irresponsible, but he settled himself down in the heat of the action. And got him some body shots. When you get those body shots, he can't recover from that. He can recover from those head shots, but they won't recover from the body shots. Right? You see him, good defense, came back with a right to the head and followed with a hook of his own with that same back of hook off of that right hand, which we call a check hook, and it ended matters. 11 of 22 power connects in that final round. And for Adrian Broner, he checks on Rodriguez, who seems to be okay. And a tremendous, tremendous performance from Adrian Broner. Coming off the Litzau win, now he stops Rodriguez. Here's Michael Buffer. Cincinnati has a new problem, but it's a good one. The winner by knockout victory, the official time, one minute, 43 seconds of round number three, and no. WBO Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Adrian, the problem.